Okay, time for some Helldivers. Sunday morning, just woke up. Play a couple games. And I have things to do. A capital city Sir. is under siege. Not much going on, so I'll just start my own game. Maybe I'll do one of these defense things. Cyborgs are on the offensive. Anytime you're defending um, a capital, you fight down a lot of roads. You can almost see them as alleyways. Um, so those stratagems that um, can block roads and alleyways are the most effective. So incendiary bombs, your razor, uh, razor ribbon, your, uh, um, those are the two that come to mind. Mines work. Uh, anything that's like, uh, anything that involves, um, like, like overhead, uh, like support, like from a plane, for example, that you're calling in for a stratagem, like a strafing run, tends to not be very effective because of the taller buildings. You have to be mindful of that. So I tend to equip a lot of, like, um, incendiary... I do, like, the incendiary bombs and, and the, uh, the razor ribbon stuff. The cyborg. Um, unstoppable rounds can... can be very good because all of the enemies, including yourself, will be confined to a a, a road, a, an alleyway. So Hellport launch sequence initiated. They can be very effective. Crew to stations. I repeat, crew to stations. Okay. So the breaker again, unstoppable rounds, shotgun. Works great against cyborgs. Um, difficulty six, so it should take down hulks relatively easily. It does consume a lot of, so it's balanced in that sense. And uh, so to compensate for that, I'm gonna bring the resupply pack, and uh, I'll be doing incendiary bombs. Uh, Auto injector all the time. I just I think that's the best perk for my playstyle. The auto injector. I can get up very quickly. If my friends hurt me, I heal up quick. If my the enemy hurts me, I heal up really quick. You're, you, I find like you're always at full health. You're always on your feet. get to the first objective. I wanted to wait until all three dogs were in my face so that one shot would kill all three. Get an incendiary bomb down. The incendiary bomb can really buy you a lot of time, um, especially in, in these uh, capital defense scenarios. Defend this rocket after clearing the area of enemies. All right. Do another incendiary bomb. Engaging target area. And that should block off that area for a time. It's, it's extremely effective. <laughs> so if you ever find yourself struggling with defending a capital and completing your missions, then. Um, maybe add an incendiary bomb 
Or, or like I said, that, that razor ribbon, that barbed wire stuff. Uh, you can put that down as well. I have another incendiary bomb I can put down. I took two. Firing for effect. Okay, I made a mistake there. I'm not sure what I was hitting when I was shooting around the rocket. My rounds were being stopped by something. There seems to be actually like a hitbox here that's invisible. Like I can't move up here. So that's probably what stopped my rounds. It's very strange. Definitely hitting like an invisible box here. I guess that's the way that it was drawn on the map, or when the level was generated. It's the way that it was made. I have another defense here. Incoming fire. Looking at my radar, there's one potential spawn point down here. So they can spawn pretty quick and then alert. Oh, they're dogs. Okay. They spawn there. spawn in around the alarm. I am getting low on breaker ammo that I am carrying. I'm getting low on the amount I'm carrying. I do have two more ammo boxes in my bag, but if I'm getting low on breaker ammo, and I have two ammo boxes missing from my resupply pack, um, then grabbing two more boxes of ammo would be quite efficient. I won't be wasting much ammo picking up two ammo boxes. So while I'm capturing this point, I'll call in my ammo. So I picked up actually both boxes without wasting any ammo at all. I had no magazines left. One ammo box gives you half the, ma the number of magazines you can carry. So two boxes would always guarantee you to be full. I had zero magazines left. So I grabbed both of them. And then because I have the resupply pack, each ammo box I pick up also increments my resupply pack by one. So I had full efficiency out of that. So I don't have a, a friend, whether it's a turret or a guard dog or an actual player to help me defend here. I've been doing fine this whole time, difficulty six. Um, T minus one minute. Reloading. But hopefully like there are some mechanics in this, despite it being simpler for me, 
Hopefully there are some mechanics and explanations in this recording that are somewhat beneficial to your gameplay. I didn't see that patrol above me. So a hawk has, a hulk has uh, spawned in here. I haven't used any of my incendiary bombs, so you could probably criticize me for that. Wait until the Hulk opens up to shoot, and then you can aim for his belly. When you see the Hulk take a step forward, um, and then sort of like move the uh, the gun out front, you know he's a he's about to start shooting a lot. So that's when you know that he won't bring up the shield to block any incoming rounds. So then aim for that belly, and uh, after a series of successful hits, you should be able to take him out. Just be sure to sidestep the the uh, machine gun that he has there, that mini gun. Teleport launch sequence initiated. Crew to station. And we'll do another one. I repeat, crew to stations. I think what I would like to do is, uh, I'll do the SAM site first on the left side, and then I'll travel east southeast to um, the launch pad, the rocket, and then I will do the escort, followed by the second SAM site. So I think what I want to do this time, um, I will do the guard dog. The ninja does have a, a decent amount of ammo with it, so I don't think I'll be running low on ammo very often. I'll do the Razor Ribbon, the anti-personnel barrier it's officially called. And I will also do the incendiary bomb. Make my way over. I can call my dog, my guard dog in. Doing the objective. Oh. Okay. Dropping equipment. Keep the objective moving at all costs if you can. It's always important to keep the objective moving. Okay, I will, I will get an alarm here. Don't have to fight it. It's going to keep moving to the next objective. I do hear dogs. I'm going to make a left here on this road. want to get my defense down first. Defensive stratagem incoming. And then I will bring up the launch pad, the rocket. Okay. Reload. Okay, that was unfortunate. The 
uh, the razor ribbon there actually saved me from those dogs. I am running low on ammo. Equipment on its way. Incendiary bomb. I almost burned to myself there. That would have been bad. Pick up an ammo box. Okay. Should be able to get full ammo out of both ammo boxes. Um. Keep him back from the rocket. The Hulk is priority. The Hulk. Um, once the Hulk gets up to the rocket, the only way to grab its attention at that point is to melee it. If you ever find that the Hulk is against the rocket at the launch pad, to get its attention, you have to walk up to it and melee it. Now it seems a little dicey over there, so I'm actually going to take a longer way to the extraction. I'm very surprised I got all three there. I'm glad I have a guard dog. A guard, do a guard dog is very useful in, in an escort. Try to shoot the units that do the alarms at, at the maximum range of your one-handed weapon so that you can still shoot outside of the of, of their vision. I can't see behind this building, but I hear a patrol. Actually going to take the long way around. I know we are near an objective, so I do know that there is heightened patrol activity here. I may actually have to end up running this, maybe just. Yeah. So an alarm went off. So the only thing I can really do is just keep moving. So not a lot of um, units spawned at that alarm, it seems. So I was kind of fortunate. Box of ammo on the ground. I can carry 16 max, so picking this up won't waste any ammo. So that was kind of perfect timing and, and fortunate. I hear a patrol here. try to keep something between me and, and the patrol, me and the dog, like an obstacle. Ran out of ammo there, so I didn't kill him. Keep the objective going. There's an extraction up here. There's actually now a lot of units over here. <laughs> Call in the shuttle if I can. Dive out of the way. an incendiary bomb. Reload. Gotta watch those dogs.
the anti-personnel barrier that Razor Ribbon is excellent against dogs. It stops their charge. My incendiary bomb is off cooldown. So I do have the option of using it in response to an alarm. I don't know why he didn't die. The Hulk opened up to start shooting, so I'm going to shoot his belly. Okay, stop shooting. I'm going to aim for the belly again. Two Hulks came in, but my shuttle's here. It can be easy to be lost into a fight. Like, lost as in, as in a sense that all of your attention is in a fight. Um, but then you find yourself realizing that the objective that you're on, you might not be moving forward with it. Or, the objective is actually finished, but yet you're still in that area. So, um, just be mindful of the objective. If, if it's done, move on. You shouldn't have to sit around and fight. You know, you know, unless there's certain circumstances, like you're trying to save a friend... Or uh, maybe there's like three samples or something in an area that you want to get to. Um, but um, just be mindful of the objective. If it's not done yet, finish it. Keep it moving forward. If it is done, move on to the next objective. Try not to get lost in fights. Um, fights cost time and resources, right? Resource being your ammunition, assuming you don't have an arc or a laser weapon. Um, so, And cooldowns on stratagems. Um, we can do one more. I guess I'll do one more. Bugs. Difficulty 6 bugs. I'll join this one. I'm hungry. I didn't eat breakfast yet. It's 10 o'clock. That's probably why. Um, bugs. Um, so with the bugs... Difficulty 6. I'll take the Scorcher. I will do the recoilless rifle. The Scorcher consumes a lot of ammo, so I'm actually going to bring two resupply strats. Um, so I have my anti-tank, which is the recoilless rifle. Actually, let's change it up. I'll do the commando for my anti-tank. Two ammo strats. Incendiary is fine. I'll change it to strafing run. Um, I do like the strafing run a lot. 10 second cooldown is very hard to pass up. Supplies incoming. So it looks like we're in transit to the extraction. So I'm not going to call anything in quite yet. This guy died. They do have anti-tank in a sense that they have the rumbler, so it's, it's toxic explosive. So it's not considered anti-tank, but it works extremely well because each unit against the bugs is organic. As soon as things calm down a little bit, I'll call my stuff in. I want to make sure my teammates are okay, and I want to contribute to damage, so... Make sure that I'm also shooting at the enemy. I was able to get that tank bug before it killed one of my teammates. I do have three magazines left. I do have to reload soon. Seems like we are able to hold the extraction. Two of the players have um, a support weapon that shoots um, similar to the other machine gun. I wouldn't recommend it against bugs. You can see how inaccurate it is when they shoot. If you replay a portion of this video, I'm sure you can identify the, the inaccuracies of the weapon. If your rounds are not in the center of your target, it'll just glance off of them, so it's not good against the bugs.
Um, so if you're against the bugs, I certainly would not use the machine gun, um, that supply stratagem for that secondary weapon, as well as the primary weapon, the machine gun. Initial shots are incredibly wild, and to gain accuracy with the weapon, you have to keep shooting. So it's, it's wasteful in rounds, and um, certainly not something that you would want to use against the bugs, considering its nature. Um, it's very important to shoot at the center of the bug. If you imagine the bug as a circle, um, you would want to shoot at the center of the circle. So, um, if the initial 10 shots or so are, are wild, um, then your reaction to a, a certain situation is going to be delayed if you're trying to kill something, especially if it's like medium armored. So, I wouldn't, would not at all recommend those, the, those machine guns, those, uh, those types of weapons. Finally, the, uh, the machine gun, uh, whether it's the primary or that supply strap machine gun, that heavier one, um, I would recommend that against the cyborgs as well as the illuminates. You can imagine that with the illuminates, the shields make them very large targets, so your wild shots are actually still going to hit the shields. And then by the time the shields are down, you're going to have a very um, a higher accuracy, I should say. Now with the cyborgs, it doesn't matter really at what angle you hit them, just as long as you're not hitting them um, at, at, a, at the portion of the unit that's a mechanical, because that's actually invulnerable. But as long as you're hitting their flesh, and they tend to be in groups, um, it's still effective. Especially against like hulks, it's, it's still effective against hulks. Um, so, but not bugs. So, we're in snow, bugs. Um, snow means boots, for me. If you don't have boots, jump pack is fine, or, or do a vehicle, do a suit. Um, but mobility is very important. And if, if you don't have either of those, then just try to run on land, not on snow. There's like little portions of land you can get on. Because we're on difficulty 7, there's going to be uh, more units of medium armor. Uh, so like, the, the guy on the far left is choosing Stalwart, that's a poor choice, it's a wild shot. Um, I think I'm going to switch to the suppressor for the melee. I'm going to keep my anti-tank. I'm still going to need ammo for not only my commando, but also the suppressor. It consumes a lot. Um, I didn't see what uh, objectives we had, so I'm just kind of gambling here. I made the mistake of not going to the center console when people went in their pods uh, just to see what objectives we had. Um, the strafing run could have been like a turret or... I know that one player on the far left had two turrets. Um, could have been mines. I could have picked mines. I don't know if we're defending something. Okay, so it looks like we're not defending, so I kind of lucked out in that sense. Equipment on its way. Okay. Broadcasting Hell Diver emergency signal. Equipment on its way. So we're calling in the sniffer. It's unfortunate we missed uh, we missed that patrol there. Uh, it's a shame he killed his. He, he stepped on him. Request confirmed. So in reaction to that, because it's already we're already under alarm, I need to call in my anti-tank stuff. I also need to grab my anti-tank stuff. So he's saying move. And he's probably right, we should be moving. We need to do the objective. Call in your friends when you can. Keep the objective objective going all, all the time. Keep it going. I know there's an impaler up there, but I'm not going to go chasing him. I'm going to keep doing the objective. really should be going top right now, but I, it seems like we're just moving this way. Oh, that was a huge mistake on my part. I'm surprised he didn't pick me up. 
Oh man, this is terrible. I think that's the second time that guy in the suit killed his friend. That's gonna miss. That that should hit. Stabbing. Stare at your character when someone's joining the game. Stare at your character. to reload. Man, this guy's killing us all the time in the suit. He's just murdering his friends. Stepping on us. I have to reload still. I think that was an impaler. Yep. So it doesn't seem like we have too much anti-tank. Someone's deploying, so stare at your character. The objective moving. Dropping equipment. Equipment on its way. Okay. Supplies incoming. The player that just joined called in a demolisher, so we have some more anti-tank there. You see how horrible that that gun is, that stalwart? It's just not good. I feel like he's just missing his, all of his shots. We have to keep moving. So the objective's been done, but we're still fighting. I don't know why he's not shooting the patrol on the right side. He's on his radio instead. That might hit me. See if I can still get to the panel. Keep the objective moving. Okay. Guess we'll go to the mines. He has the sniffer. because he was in the way there. What a crazy spawn that was. Got a defuse. We found all of them, I believe. Take it slow with the diffusing. Defense drop incoming. Okay. Now we're gonna go down. I don't know why I called in a turret. It's a little late there. Equipment on That's a shame we didn't kill the uh, patrol there in time. God, he's gonna kill his friends. Or he killed himself. That was really stupid. Request acknowledged. 
I don't know why we're being told to move. We have to kill these nests. That's... I don't know who's throwing... Oh, Leo? This That Leo player keeps throwing his Vindicator bomb things. I'm not sure why. Oh my god! That's horrible! Why did he do that? That one player just ended up murdering us. That was really shocking. to the shuttle. We're defending the extraction. That one guy just... I can't believe that one guy just unloaded all of his rounds on everyone. I don't know if he's, like, frustrated or... Always gotta watch people falling from the sky. I have to reload my commando. I think that's gonna miss. I'm gonna keep reloading it. Oh! Okay. Oh god. These stratagems are just really unfortunate. I cannot call in my... Oh, yeah, I can. I'm not gonna get on yet until I know that everyone else can get on. Okay. I was kinda lucky. So that... That mission was rather, uh... That mission was rather dicey, I must say. A lot of friendly fire, a lot of stratagems being used dangerously. Um, I made the mistake of shooting an enemy that was directly in front of me with the, uh, the area of effect that the suppressor has with damage. So I definitely knocked myself out with that. I felt like there was enough time though, I have to watch the video again, but I felt like there was enough time for one of my players to pick me up there. If they had a better reaction time, they could have run over and picked me up in time before I bled out and died. And I know the other player was in the suit at the time. I, I kind of think they could have had time to get out of the suit to pick me up as well. Um, but I think I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to eat a little something. And I'll see you guys in the next video.